Now we have some southbound order, which is uh, kind of a real off, straight off road. Like, you know, in a hard stop. Yeah. This is a small farm. Small farm was built on this land. This is a farm farm. Small farm farm. 这是一种可以折叠式的啊，这上面是软的，可以折叠起来走的时候。This number. 1609 Palomino. Oh. It's a real light SS is soft Far side. Far is the real one, yeah. 1609. So the Palomino and the real light's the same oh, yeah, yeah. camper. Just a different brand name on it. Okay. So this has got the electric jacks and the electric lift system for the roof. The LED lights. Mm -hmm. This was at 20,000. Brand new, including the freight and the prep and everything. Very nice. This has got the heater and the stove. Your um, toilet in there. And here, and, yep. And your outside shower, refrigerator. Yeah, you push up on that button and then pull the door. Push up on the button. You're going to do it at the same time. Oh, okay. Thank you. Shop in shop. Like, yeah, that was like I said. Like, oh. The beach, open the door, and you're there. This is where you're going to go. 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 This on the back of a regular truck. I can put it anywhere you want to go. National park. Yeah. We love going to parks. Yep. Uh, historical logging roads. This chain can open. 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 Yep. You know, our son will be off the college before we know it. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a funny. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, we were all the way over this way. Yep. And uh, so we got to go to the RV. Oh, yeah. Almost yeah. finished, I think. I can't remember if we finished. Oh, he took a full moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah, yeah. This is a chair and a chair. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. No, really, it didn't go on to it. Yeah, I've been doing it a long time, and word of mouth is huge. And, you know, even if you're not ready to buy it, I mean, eventually, if you don't keep looking, you'll send people out. Oh, we'll be back with them. I was going to tell you about it. I was going to tell you about it. One of the ones that caught me off guard, my students told me this. I teach the college music in addition to the consultant. Oh, really? Wow. And there's dogs, puppies. Oh, yeah. And if you go to the shelters, we always have those, like, Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, that's good. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fiberglass, and this uh, is insulated all around, but you don't have the insulation up here. That'll be cold up here. Oh, I know. So this, this one is made also that... Uh, no, this, this is this drops made... down. This is called fiberglass. This oh, is okay. more like plastic. This one is strong, or that just now that one, that uh, travel light is... Which is stronger, is what she said. Uh, they're both about the same. This will resist scratches easier. Once oh. you damage this, it's harder to repair this than the aluminum. Oh. oh. So there, it's kind of like six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a little heavier. Aluminum's oh. lighter. This is going to cost more on the base of the camper because it's more labor intensive to make or to put together than the aluminum. 
This one also, this is four season or three season? This is three season because of the canvas. Oh, because this. You can't really use this anymore. They do make these in hard side. I can get a hard side in the real light brand or the Palomino. I'm a dealer for Palomino also. Or the real light, the Bundatech, the Adventurer, mm -hmm. the Scout, <clears throat> and the Eagle Cow. Oh, okay. And we're just looking into Bigfoot now, which is another top yeah. bottom fiberglass mold. And uh, th this is, this is Palomino. Palomino, Palomino, yeah, Palomino. Palomino makes it, it's, it's made by Forest River. Oh, I know. These this are... is actually a real light. See the, oh. see the website? Palomino. Oh, yeah. Palomino.com, but it's a real light camper oh. made by Palomino. Oh, this Palomino is a car... makes one like this too, and it says Palomino here. Oh. Yeah. So it's the same camper, just they can have a Palomino dealer across the street, and I can be a real light dealer, and they're different products, yeah. even though it's the same thing. Oh, okay. But I carry both. Uh, this you have some other not this type of. yeah the hard sides they do make them but i don't have any here i oh, have on okay. the road they shipped supposedly this week from the factory they're coming with a hard side it's a palomino or a real light um 1914 which is a bigger one with slide outs oh that's okay. going to be here and then i have a mini one that fits the mini truck like a pop-up and the other pop-up coming in is sold hmm. this one is uh... This one is uh, outside the each hour also. Yes, outside the each hour. Outside shower too. Yes, outside shower in the inside toilet, your refrigerator, your um, electric gas, and your conditioning. 20 pound propane tank. Um, it's got the tankless water heater for hot water. This is the outside shower here. Mm -hmm. Your sink drain drains on the ground, mm -hmm. similar to the other one. Then your outside 110 faucets. This is kind of like a fake skirt just for looks, so it looks better. Oh. On a short bed truck. Gotcha. Oh. And an eight foot bed, it goes right to the back. Gotcha. Oh. So this will fit a short bed or a long bed truck. How much about this one? This is $20,000 as you see it. That's with oh. the electric jacks, the electric lift, the outside shower, the tankless water heater, the battery, the shipping, and everything included. And this is a 2020. This mm -hmm. is a brand new one. This, uh, this factory, if that with bathroom can each hour inside, that one is uh, four seasons or three seasons. This is three season because of the vinyl. I know this but one. But the hard side. Another another type of if hard yeah hard. Yeah, on the real light or Palomino hard side with the shower and the toilet is a four season. Four seasons. On the new ones. And how oh. much are those? They're going to be with the shower and toilet on this. You're going to be around twenty four twenty five thousand. Oh, what's that number eight? Yeah, also the That's number. That's an eight and a half foot camper which will fit a short bed or a long bed. I know that number is the eight to four. Um, the... They're all different numbers. It's the eighteen. I think the eighteen oh four. Oh. Eighteen oh four in the real life. These are beautiful. That one, uh, I if I buy, I buy that one hard, hard roof. That yes. hard roof, the French water tank also inside or yes. outside? Yes, inside. 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 And they have black, black, black wall. Black or outside. Black green outside. Well, or depending on the model, because if it's an eight foot camper, they're under the floor, so you step up into the toilet, so it's under inside underneath. Inside underneath. So it's not not outside hanging down. Then if cold weather, just like this weather, yep. can you use it or no? Yes, you can use it in this kind of weather. Keep half a gallon of antifreeze down your toilet and down your sink drains. Can you use it? It's got gray water and black water tanks. Yeah, we can use if that one. This factory, this factory, if that's a hard roof, that one we can use this weather, right. but we also should throw the water empty. Yeah. The green water and the, the green water and the black water should be empty. Yes. But, or with any freeze in it. Or, or you put in medicine that makes it no, no freeze. Oh, if we... Can we use it just like tonight? You can tonight? use it in the winter, but with the fresh water, you got to get that fresh water out and not use it. If you're below 10 degrees or so. I'll explain later. But they're all the same. If it gets very, very cold, mm -hmm. you got to get rid of the, the, the fresh water, the, the white water. The fresh water inside. Inside, if you turn on the heat, if why you, you throw the out the... Because it could still get too cold. If it gets too cold, you can't. But it... <laughs> no, if you turn on the heat, we'll then at night, then we'll sleeping inside. Sleeping inside, I think you need to throw the French water. 
yeah, the fresh water is good with the heat on, but the lines run in the walls and below the floors where the water lines run, they'll uh -huh. start to freeze up quicker. Inside where your body is, oh. it's 72 degrees, but it starts to get colder near the walls quicker. But see out here where the pipe is, maybe, so in this, cabinet, maybe this gets too cold. Oh. Outside yeah. where the pipe is, could get cold. So if oh. you have cabinets and a shelf here, and you got refrigerators and stoves and everything, up against the outside wall, they run the water lines. That's going to freeze quicker because the water doesn't go inside the cabinets. I mean, the heat doesn't go inside the cabinets. It stays colder. The heat, Shan, uh -huh. the pipe is here. Oh, the whole, the heat is against inside. The wall, against this. Oh. It is insulated, so it'll stay, it'll take a while to freeze. It would be good for a good for a while. Yeah, But exactly. if it keeps getting very cold. Then it, that starts to freeze. Then this starts to freeze. And out here, it would freeze the pipe too. But if you have oh. the, in there, it would be nice and warm. Out here, it'd be very cold. And this is where the pipe is. Oh. So if it gets too cold, you got to get the water out of the living of the space. But your holding tanks, if you're using the toilet and stuff, you just use bottled water. Keep it with the antifreeze or the medicine inside the tank. Even though it's outside, it won't freeze solid. So it's okay. Just your drinking water, you don't want water in there in the water pump. And your water heater can start to If it freeze. was real cold, get rid of the cl clean water. Exactly. Get rid of the clean water. Oh. The and other water, you just put medicine in and it won't freeze. But you can't Which put water put the medicine? The, the black water. Black water. But black you can't put that medicine in clean water because you're going to drink it. Exactly. Oh. So that clean water, if it gets cold, 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 you got to get rid of it because it'll, this will turn like a big ice box. Oh. On the and they call that dry camping for people that use it in the winter. If you're snowmobiling and snow skiing and ice fishing and you go up to Canada in the winter. You yeah, can we, dry camp, just don't have fresh water in it. We're going to the desert. But your holding tanks and stuff are fine. Your gray water, just keep the antifreeze in it. We should only go to the desert. We should oh, stay warm. But yeah. uh, it's, it has, I heard that it has someone can use in Alaska or Alaska somewhere. Alaska tested tough on Lance, but that's 40 below zero. You're comfortable in the camper, but not with water in it. They don't tell you that. Yeah. He's saying you would be fine. You. You said that uh, somebody put the electricity in the water, and then you can use the water. You can wrap the pipes. Yeah, you got to wrap the pipe, but there's piping going through walls and behind cabinets, behind the refrigerator compartment. You can't get to. No. Like the back of the water heater over here. You have. This is a tank with water heater. This is all outside, so the air gets in here, and if it's below zero, everything's vented. It's going to start freezing in the tank. Yeah, I guess. So the heat's on inside. You're comfortable inside, but this is going to start to freeze, and then you crack your water tank, and that's four hundred dollars to yeah. change it. Then the pipes that go to the water heaters. If you're going to be in Alaska, if it's going to be really cold, mm -hmm. get rid of the clean water. He's telling you, don't. Don't use it. Don't use it. Yeah, no matter what brand it is, you can't no have what... water in there. Like in here, this is the outside shower. This is just plastic. Yeah. If you have water to these pipes and to this faucet, that's all going to crack and break. Yeah. When you put water in, it's going to leak everywhere. The water here, mm -hmm. it's not wrapped. There's nothing you can do. It would break this right off. It would freeze like an ice cube and go mm -hmm. push. And the lines go right to the back of it, and there's no yeah. insulation. I mean, I there is insulation in the wall, but this is all thin plastic. I understand, yeah. So, it's again, it's you can't have water in it for longer than a certain time in the fresh water part, but the holding tanks are okay if you keep that antifreeze in there. Do you have some other factories? Uh, so we do have some other brands, but I don't have the smaller ones, but they're similar. If you want to take a look over here. Right 